Story time. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Story Time. I'm so happy that you are here. 만나서 너무나 반갑습니다. Welcome back to those of you who took the previous levels. 이전 단계를 마치고 새로운 레벨에 오신 여러분들을 환영합니다. And I'd like to welcome those of you who have just joined 초목달. 또한 새롭게 초목달에 오신 여러분들도 진심으로 환영합니다. I'm really looking forward to reading all of these new stories, aren't you? 저는 여러분들과 함께 새로운 이야기들을 나누려고 하니까 아주 기대가 많이 되는데요. 여러분들도 기대되시죠? Well then, let's do some brainstorming before we begin. Here we go! Endangered Species Definition What are endangered species? Problems Why do animals and plants become endangered? Examples Can you name some endangered animals? Solutions What can we do to protect endangered species? Today's story is about endangered species. What are these animals? Right, pandas. Did you know that pandas are endangered animals? Definition Boys and girls, what does endangered mean? When you say something is endangered, it means something is in danger. So, what are endangered species? That's right. Endangered species are animals or plants in danger of becoming extinct. There are over 17,000 endangered species. Endangered animals can be found all over the world. Also, almost half of the Earth's plants are endangered. This is a big problem. Problems Now, Let's think about the reasons why these animals and plants become endangered. Animals and plants become endangered for many different reasons. What do you think the biggest reason for this is? The biggest reason is people. People do need places to live in. How does this affect animals and plants? To start with, People look for land to grow food. Agriculture requires a lot of land to grow food. People sometimes cut down trees. However, do you know what the problem is? Animals need these trees too. People cut down trees to use the wood. This can hurt animals and their habitats. People also move into places where animals live. When this happens, animals lose their homes. Roads and houses can keep animals from their food. Roads can also keep animals separated from each other. This makes it hard for animals to live. Examples Well, there are a lot of different endangered animals. I already told you that pandas are endangered animals. Boys and girls, where do pandas live? They live in a part of China called the Yangtze Basin. Many people have been moving into Yangtze Basin. So, 
These people now live where the pandas used to live. There are more houses and rows there. Therefore, fewer pandas are being born. Pandas cannot get to their food either. Many pandas are hungry. Can you think of any other endangered animals? In addition to pandas, gorillas in Central Africa are also losing their homes. People move onto the land where gorillas live. Gorillas lose their homes. When farmers cut down trees, they destroy the plants gorillas eat. Like pandas, gorillas cannot easily move from place to place. So, losing their homes is the first big problem. However, losing their homes is not the only problem for pandas and gorillas. What is another big problem for these animals? People hunt animals. Pandas and gorillas were once hunted a lot. Thankfully, hunting is less of a problem today. Solutions. But don't worry, boys and girls. There are some things we can do to protect endangered species. How can we do that? We can save land for animals. We can also plant trees or plants where animals can live. We can visit a nature reserve. We can join a wildlife protection group. Remember, boys and girls, if we work together, endangered species will certainly have a better future. To wrap up, let's review what we talked about today. We talked about endangered species. 그렇죠. 멸종 위기에 처한 동식물 종에 대해서 우리는 오늘 이야기했어요. What are endangered species again? That's right. They are animals and plants in danger. 그렇죠. 멸종 위기에 처한 동물과 식물을 말해요. Why do they become endangered again? 이유는 무엇이라고요? Very good. We learned that people are the main cause of endangered species. 잘하셨어요. 우리 사람들이 바로 멸종 위기에 처한 동식물의 가장 커다란 원인이라는 것을 배웠어요. What were two examples of endangered animals we talked about? 우리 함께 살펴본 멸종 위기에 처한 두 가지 동물들은 어떤 동물이었나요? Great. Pandas and gorillas were two examples of endangered animals. 잘하셨어요. 판다와 고릴라였어요. Finally, who can help protect endangered species? 마지막으로 누가 멸종 위기의 동식물을 보호할 수 있다고요? That's right. People can help protect them. We can help protect them. 그렇죠. 사람들이 그들을 보호하도록 도울 수 있어요. 바로 우리들이에요. Great job, boys and girls. See you next time. Bye. Endangered species. Endangered animals are animals in danger of becoming extinct. There are over 17,000 endangered species, and they can be found all over the world. Animals and plants become endangered for many different reasons, but the biggest reason is people. People look for land to grow food since agriculture requires a lot of land. They also cut down trees to build homes. An example of an endangered species is the giant panda. Many people now live in the panda's home in the Yangtze Basin in China.
Gorillas are also losing their homes in Central Africa. People have made many plants and animals endangered. However, people can also help them. People can plant trees or plants where animals can live. They can also join a wildlife protection group. Endangered species will have a better future if people work together to save them. Mm -chick, mm -mm -chick. Yo, what's up, boys and girls? Now it's singing time, and I have exciting news. Starting with this level, we will have hip hop rap mm -chick, mm -chick, mm -chick, music for our non-fiction stories. Here is our first rap song. Let's review the lyrics together before we rap with the song. What are endangered animals? They are animals in danger of becoming extinct. Can you name some endangered animals? The giant panda and the gorilla are endangered animals. People can help endangered species. How can they help? Let's find out. Who can save land for animals? People can save land for animals. Endangered species will have a better future if people work together to save them. If people work together to save them. Now, let's review some patterns. The first pattern we will look at is be in danger of. You use this pattern to describe a dangerous situation. Now, let's practice. You can use it like this. He is in danger of failing a class. Or, she is in danger of being left out in the cold. The second pattern we will look at is to do something. You use this pattern to describe the object of doing something. You are explaining the reason why you are doing it. For example, you can use it like this. I came here to meet you. Or, we are practicing every day to win the game. Can you make one? Ha ha! Great job, everyone. Now, let's rap together. Uh huh. Yeah. Here we go. Let's talk about endangered animals, y'all. Here we go. One, two, three, four. What are endangered animals? They are animals in danger of becoming extinct. Can you name some endangered animals? The giant panda and the gorilla are endangered. Welcome to the skill section. 여러분 반갑습니다. 이 skill section에서 여러분들과 다양한 독해 전략 스킬들을 함께 연습하려고 해요. 여러분 모두 이 연습을 통해 독해력 향상에 
커다란 도움이 될 것이라고 저는 확신해요. 오늘 함께 볼 스킬은 Problem and Solution이에요. Most stories include a problem and a solution. 대부분의 이야기에는 문제점도 나오고 이에 대한 해결책도 제시되는데요. Finding them helps you understand the story. 이러한 문제점과 해결책을 찾아보는 것이 스토리 이해에 커다란 도움이 된답니다. Skill Objective Identify the problem and solution in a story. 오늘 우리가 함께한 이야기에서 어떤 내용이 문제점을 지적하는 것인지 그리고 또 어떤 내용은 문제점에 대한 해결책인지 생각해 보는 것이지요. Here we go. Boys and girls, in a story, a problem is a difficult puzzle or situation for the characters. 이야기에서 문제점이란 등장인물들이 겪는 어려운 문제나 상황을 말해요. Check the sentences that cause the problems of endangered species. 멸종위기에 처한 동물들이 생기게 하는 문제점을 보여주는 문장들을 고르라는 문제네요. People hunt animals. 사람들이 동물들을 사냥한다. 동물 사냥이 멸종 위기의 문제점인가요? 그렇지요. People move into places where animals live. 사람들이 동물들이 사는 곳으로 이동한다. 이것이 문제점인가요? 그렇습니다. 사람들이 동물들이 사는 곳으로 이동하다 보니 동물들이 서식지를 자꾸 잃어가는 문제가 생기는 것이지요. People work together to save endangered species. 멸종위기의 동식물을 구하기 위해 사람들이 함께 일한다. 이것은 문제점이 아니지요. 오히려 해결책입니다. People cut down trees to use the wood. 사람들이 나무를 사용하기 위해서 나무를 벤다. 이것이 문제점인가요? 그렇습니다. 사람들이 나무를 베니 동물들이 먹을 식량이 자꾸 줄어듭니다. 나무를 베는 것은 멸종위기를 야기하는 문제점이 맞습니다. Hunting is less of a problem today. 사냥 문제가 오늘날은 덜 심각하다. 이것은 문제점이 아니라 오히려 반대 경우지요. 사냥을 줄이는 것이 문제의 해결책입니다. People visit a nature reserve. 사람들은 자연 보호 지역을 방문한다. 이것은 어떤가요? 문제점인가요? 아닙니다. 자연 보호 지역을 방문하는 사람들이 늘어날수록 멸종 위기의 문제점은 사라질 것입니다. You chose The three correct sentences, right? Nicely done. Check the sentences that can solve the problems of endangered species. Now, it's time to find solutions. 이제 해결책을 찾아볼 순서네요. Boys and girls, a solution in a story is how characters fix the problem. 이야기에서 해결책은 주인공들이 문제를 풀어가는 것을 말해요. Shall we take a look at some solutions? 이제 해결책들을 찾아볼까요? People build towns and cities. 사람들이 마을과 도시를 건설한다. 사람들이 마을과 도시를 건설하면서 동물들이 살던 서식지가 줄어들도록 위협하기 때문에 이는 해결책이 아니라 문제점이지요. People can save land for animals. 사람들이 동물들을 위해서 땅을 비축하고 구할 수 있다. 이것이 바로 멸종위기 동물들의 문제점을 해결하기 위한 좋은 해결책이 되겠네요. Rows and houses can keep animals from their food. 도로와 집들이 동물들의 먹이를 빼앗는 셈이다. 이 역시 해결책이 아니라 문제점이네요. People can join a wildlife protection group. 사람들이 야생동물 보호단체에 참여할 수 있다. 이 또한 멸종위기 동물들을 돕기 위한 훌륭한 해결책이 되겠네요. People use the land to farm. 사람들은 농사를 하기 위해 땅을 사용한다. 사람들이 농사를 위해 땅을 사용하는 것은 동물들 입장에서는 문제점이지요. People can plant trees or plants where animals can live. 사람들이 동물들이 살수 있는 곳에 나무와 식물을 심을 수 있다. 나무와 식물을 심으면 동물들의 먹이도 될수 있고 이 또한 아주 좋은 멸종위기 동물들을 돕기 위한 해결책이 되겠네요. Great job, everyone! Don't forget, we looked at problem and solution today.